I'm Steve Ridgell, and as most of you that know anything about me know, I spend a lot of my time talking to Christians about how to talk about Jesus, and I spend a lot of time talking to churches about how to reach people for Jesus. And I'm often asked, what are some things our church can do to reach people? And a lot of times they mean give me a program, give me a three-step plan. I don't, I'm not much on that kind of thing. I think it's got to be a lot more organic than that, a lot more ground up than that. But I will tell you three things I think a church could think about doing that might help generate some interest from people who want to talk about Jesus. The first one is if you do any kind of community outreach that involves giving things away, if you do school backpacks, if you do Thanksgiving meals, if you do Halloween hand, anything that has any kind of gift to the community, be sure and put something in there that not only identifies who you are, but has some kind of invitation to it. It can simply be a here's when we meet to talk about Jesus, to worship, we'd love to have you come. If, if it's at a special time around Easter, you could even say we're having special Easter Sunday on. Whatever it is, you can do something that says, if you'd like to talk more about Jesus, a little thing that says, here's why we're doing this, because Jesus has been good to us. If you'd like to know more, we'd love to talk to you about Jesus. If you have special activities coming up, an invitation for that, maybe you do a handout saying, here's what we do for young people, or whatever it is, but some kind of invitation. Number two, I think we really ought to be a lot more involved in the sponsoring events that lead the community to come for some kind of felt need or some kind of need they may have and visit our building. It might be seminars on uh, finances. It might be a celebrate recovery meeting. It might be how to cope with aging parents. It might be English as a second language. It might be a seminar on how to be a better parent. There are all sorts of opportunities you could give that would open up to the community. And especially if you have people in who are from your congregation who are really gifted, that's great. Or somebody else from your fellowship or your community who's a believer those are really strong things to be able to say, here's what we are offering for you. Here's what we do for you. And you get to know them and meet them and help them. That's a great idea. And the third thing I would tell you for any size church is be very intentional about praying. Now, I think you pray specifically for individuals you want to reach. I think you pray for, uh, when, for God to open the door for you to bring people into your life that need Jesus that you pray that God will give you eyes to see them and wisdom to know an invitation or what story to tell them or what to say to them, when to give your testimony or whatever it is, and, and maybe even the courage to act on that. But I think you just don't tell your members, we're all going to pray for that this week. I think you get together and things happen when the church prays together. So I think you tell your members to pray, yes, but I think maybe every Sunday for a, a whole quarter, you pray for lost people. Maybe you get together in small groups and you pray for lost people. Maybe you have a 24-hour prayer time where it, somebody comes up to the building over a 24-hour cycle and you pray continually for lost people. I just really want to encourage you to do those kind of things, to be creative, to be intentional. And I believe when you start doing those things, God's going to open the door and people are going to respond. And you are going to have people that want to talk to you about how to follow Jesus. Now, if you want to know more about this, I recommend a book. It's called Church Inside Out by Timothy Archer. You can order it from 21st Century. I think you can look on Amazon, uh, but that's a really good, and if you can't find anywhere, get a hold of me and I'll, uh, I'll connect you with Tim. And that book has a lot of suggestions for how church is reaching their community. We've got to reach a lost and dying world. God bless you as you think about how to do that.